Okay, this is a tutorial on how to make a spiral based on the Fibonacci numbers. You can Google that term to see what it's about. Essentially, you're counting a sequence up, and with each uh, number that you arrive at, you add the previous one. So it's 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 5 is 13, 13 plus 8 is 21, on up as far as you want to go. So uh, again, you can Google that to, to read about the Fibonacci numbers. So we need to get rid of this uh, default cube and go to the top view. And we want to create a plane. The default plane is 2 by 2. We need to make that 1 by 1 because the first number in our count is 1. So let's turn on uh, pivot on the cursor and snap. And that just helps uh, make it the, the precision easier. So we're going to put the cursor where on that point there and then select all and scale down until it is at 1. Okay, so our next uh, square is going to be 2 by 2 based on those numbers. So we want to extend this out so that we have uh, 2 by 2 to grab here. And we're going to extend that on the y minus 2. And then we'll connect those. Now the next one would be 3 by 3. And you can arrive at that just by grabbing this side, because it's now 3. So we can take this, extrude it out 3 units, and connect them. So the next would be 5, so we'll take it up. And we'll extend it on the y-axis 5 units, and connect it. The next would be 8, which is the 5 and the 3. And we're going to extend it on the x-axis in a negative value of 5, or excuse me, eight. So extrude x minus eight. And then we'll connect those. So the next one would be eight and five is thirteen. So we'll go down with that thirteen units. Y minus 13. And we're going to connect those. And the next one would be 21 units. So extrude 21 and connect them. And you can go on up to 34 and right on up as large as you want to go until you hit the, uh, the extents of your camera's ability to actually render the image out. As you get too large, you can't see the smaller part of the curve anyway, so you just kind of you know what meets your purposes. So anyway, we've created a grid now, and we're going to put in the arcs or the spiral based on that grid. So we're going to go in here to the first square, and we want to go an arc from here to here. So we're going to set the cursor and create a circle. And there it is. It's it's exactly matched up. So we want to get rid of the unnecessary vertices. I do it by getting rid of a couple of them, then selecting one, hit Control L. Okay, so the next pivot point is two by two, and it's going to go from here to here. So here's our arc point. Snap the cursor and create the circle. Because it's two by two, you scale it two, and it lines up perfectly. And again, we get rid of the unnecessary part of the circle. So our next one is 3 by 3. And so our pivot point was here to go here. Create the circle, scale 3. Oh, I forgot to snap. Control S. Now circle and scale 3. There we go. And then we get rid of the unneeded again. 
So the next pivot point's here. Snap it. And then create the circle. And this time it's 5 by 5, so scale 5. And then get rid of the unnecessary vertices again. This is pretty much repetition. And then the next arc is this way, so the pivot is here. Circle. And we are on a See, one, two, three, four, five, so it's eight, scale eight. And get rid of these. And the unnecessary parts of the circle. The next one should be 13, so we're going to go from here to here. Create the circle, scale at 13. And again, Remove the unnecessary verts. And the last one would be the largest one, which is 21. And we're going this way, so we want this one. And then circle, scale 21. And you can extend that up as far as you, again, as far as you need for your project, your purposes. All right, so now we have the spiral. And what we got to do is get rid of this grid. For me, I found the easiest way is to select one vert from each portion of the spiral and then hit Control L and then Control I and you've gotten rid of the grid that we used. So now these all have to be connected because they're individual sections if you hit control l it doesn't select the whole thing so what we do is just hit control a or just a excuse me and then we want to remove doubles so right here took out six doubles now we can hit j to join these and just to test it control l gives you link so they are linked all right now we're going to convert this to a curve so we can work with it and let's just put a circle right here. And this will become the bevel object. And sizing this circle down, we can make it however we want it to be. And You can animate using these sliders here if you want to animate the curve. You can also use a taper object, make it come from a point, etc. So, you know, what you do with the curve after you've created it, you know, combine it with others to make patterns, designs, uh, whatever the purpose is in your project. So I hope you find this useful. Uh, thanks and happy blending.